You know, one of the interesting things about Dr. Luke is how he's able to cram so much of the life and teachings of Jesus into some of these chapters in his gospel account. I mean, in Luke chapter 10, you see Jesus sending out his disciples. You see him giving that parable of the great Samaritan, but you also see that account of Martha and Mary, where maybe you'll remember that Jesus is there in the home and, and Martha, she's like that, I don't know, maybe that American housewife, like every single thing about the house is clean and ready and prepped for the guest. And then you have Mary, who's kind of, well, spending time with Jesus. And Martha, maybe she gets a little frustrated that, that Mary is there in the presence of Jesus. And Martha's trying to give Jesus the present of everything being perfect. And Martha being frustrated, she speaks to Jesus about that. But listen to the words of Jesus. I find them insightful and even intriguing. He says, my dear Martha, in verse 41, you are worried and upset over all of these details. There's only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. See, here's the interesting thing. It's not that Mary was lazy and Jesus said, that's the way to live. Move to the Bahamas and just take it easy, bro. No, 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 no. He was saying this, the priority is relationship. It's not so much doing things for God, but recognizing that what God wants most in life is for you to be with him. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for you not to desire the presence that God gives, but his presence. See, and I have found in my short journey of life that those who spend time with God, they're truly the ones that know God and the ones that actually work the hardest. Not because they have to, but because they love God. They, they wanna see him well served and they wanna say thank you through their attitudes and actions. But it all comes from a heart of relationships. It, it all comes from a heart. See, the heart is what impacts the hands, not the other way around. And Mary saw that. And so today, I would encourage you, instead of trying to be like Jesus today, just like Jesus. And the more you like Jesus, you'll find yourself becoming like Jesus because it's about who you hang with more than what you do for the Lord. Let me say that one last time. It's more about your presence with God, not what you can produce for God.